Are those... Those are petals? And a flower with its stem lying on the side. I'm onto something. Here. Yes. Yes. There. Follow the trail. There's the next one. Into the brush, maybe. No, down the way. What's that sound? Oh. Okay, that ogre's eating someone, but okay, it's fine. Oh. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Boy. You have come at a good time, boy. I have just lost a pawn, so... Yeah, welcome aboard. <laughs> a perfect archer replacement. I don't even care what skills you have or don't have. I'm not even going to look. I... Alright. <laughs> well, that was impromptu, but much... Much needed. Alright, we're leaving the main road. These wolves... Definitely came this way. Look at this thicket. This forest is... The density, wow! It's like I transported myself to another world. Hey! Hey! None of this! There. Huh, is that everyone? Let us see More what here. Who is this stranger? Strangers, hello. You pawns. I'm certain you're happy to have me along? You are pawns, well... Thanks, have you seen a child around here? I don't see any blue flowers. I've gotten off the trail. Okay. I think I still have plenty of time. It's not yet night. Though it sure looks like it, but I, how dark oh, this forest Lord. is. Frustratingly so. Ah! We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Get in my belly. Here we go. This way. Putrid cave, a cave, and the flower petals? This is it. Everyone, two arms. There's a kid! How are you alive? What's going on? How did I get here? You will earn your high five when you are ready, boy. I'm still alive. I would like to know that too. You saved me, didn't you, sir? I... I can hardly believe it. Thank you. I would not be standing here without you. How did you know where I was? Did Grandfather request your help? I suppose he must be worried sick about me. If it's all the same to you, sir, I think I'd like to go home now. Yes, let us quit this deadly place. Don't we have a Deadly and dreadful. Let's go back to Morris. So, I suppose now it's time to just run back to town. The way is long, but the path should be mostly clear. Except for that one ogre that we saw. That was kind of freaky. Not rattles me quite so much as the unexpected snuffing of my lantern light. Ah, the stars are out. The sky is dimming. Ah, uh, new monsters are like to come out at night, so we'll have to be speedy about it. And I'll keep a careful eye on the kid, the yellow diamond on the mini-map. If worse comes to worse, I can just grab him and sprint with him while carrying him. 
Oh, there's that ogre. Yeah, they're fighting someone. Um, kid? Hold on. This is for your own good. Okay, okay, it's distracted. It's eating that dude. We're fine. To me, everyone. To me. To me. Kid. 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 Over here. Kid. Oh my god, you're gonna be grounded when you get home. Holy shit. Maybe I should have killed it just for insurance. That nearly ended in tragedy. Though I do have a wake stone on my person, if the worst were to happen. Well, no, the worst that could happen is... The kid being thrown off a cliff. I can't recover the body that way. Would that such tranquility could last. Is that you say? Whoa, Moonglow's pre- what is that? Oh, wide berth. Wide berth, wide berth. <laughs> kid? Why aren't you moving, kid? Kid? Kid, no! Skeletons! Leave the boy alone! Kid, this way! No, he's being fired on! Kid, you fucking idiot! Well, we made it back, and I found a new gold beetle that would go in my belly. So, despite the best efforts of the game, we have made it back with a kid alive. He got shot in the face with some spells, he was possessed by a ghost, he nearly got eaten by an ogre. His dad's gonna be happy. Here we go. It's done. You happy, Rog? 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 Is that you, my boy? Hello, Grandfather. It's a miracle. You're alive and in one piece. Oh, joy of joys. I thought ne'er to lay eyes on you again. Grandfather, you're smothering me. Oh, hush. You don't get to complain of such things after you've worried me half to death. Very sorry, Grandfather. I didn't mean to cause you grief. And you? Words alone will ne'er be enough to express the depth of my gratitude. I am truly in your debt. Pray, take this. Tis naught but a trifle in comparison to your kindness. But I hope you will accept it all the same. I seem to be making friends with apothecaries with children everywhere I go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. That Whoa! Was certainly worthwhile. Okay. We have achieved our um. Objective. We mustn't grow complacent. But still wow! The trials to that was a lot of gold. Huh. So what is that miracle robberant? Restores an astonishing amount of health and stamina, and it weighs 0 0.05 kilograms. Hot damn. Its recipe is a closely guarded secret. I gotta learn that recipe. Maybe I can combine robberants. Uh, fruit robberant with cinnamon bark makes... Mighty Roborant, what is that? Um... Hello? Mighty? Hello? Oh, what the hell? Well, with that quest taken care of, we can turn our minds back to what we originally, um... came here for. Maybe the doctor... Has something new for us to learn. 
Maybe he's completed his um. Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient Maybe he's completed his study of the thing. To keep up. Ah, there you are. You've come at a good time. I've just finished running those tests. I must ask, where did you acquire that concoction? It is a fell thing you got there. Ooh. To be plain, it is more poison than physic. Well, that settles it. Can I get that in writing, sir? It has the potential to heal one's ailment, certainly. But only if they could survive long enough, which isn't likely. Huh. Worse still, it has addictive properties that are likely to cause the patient to become dependent on its deadly effects. I say patient, but I should hope whoever made this did not intend it as a method of treatment. You'd have to be well and truly mad to attempt such a thing. Wow. That's fascinating. I think we got that um, abyss dead to rights. Holy crap. We're still, I say patient. So, just to confirm, I still have everything on my person, right? All the quest items. Records of treatment. Um, right, so they didn't give me the poison back. That's unfortunate, but... I suppose this doctor's word is as good as we are going to get. So, the next step. I guess we investigated, investigated all we can. I might speak with the sickly beastrin once more. And it might be time to apprehend the that evil abbess. But for now, before we leave, I actually... um. I want to look around. There's a non-zero chance that... There could be a port crystal here. I'd love to be able to fast travel back to this place eventually. Hello? I don't believe I had any visitors today. You look like a sorcerer. Be gone. I have no hospitality to extend toward one bereft of decorum. We have found a material. Uh, different combinations huh. of materials result in Maybe he liked me if I came back in sorcerer robes. What a weirdo. Well. Looking to gain entry to Merdin's Manor, are you? Good luck. Oh, that was a weirdo sorcerer. Huh. First, he'll sweep you a look from head to toe. Then he'll ask that how you present yourself when visiting someone and slam the door in your face. That pawns. You'd think he'd know not to expect noble manners from us common folk. So I gotta dress fancily, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy might be a sorcerer meister. Hmm. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Wow, good eye. What do we have here? Oh, just a draw. Stoutness extract and some arrows. Interesting. What over here? No, well. Okay, I'll take a quick look around, then it'll be time for a fairy stone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no teleport beacon. Um, I could spend my money on that on that jade there and do that quest, but I don't know. I want to keep my funds, and it's not timed beside, right? Yeah. So nothing else for it. It's finally time. Let's see it in action. Yep. Vernworth is the only place that has one, at least so far. Teleport. Oh, <laughs> what a nostalgic sound effect. We seem to have arrived without Yo! Them. But are we safe here? 
Yeah. Huh. Well, that's that then. So let's go visit the guy in the slums, see what he thinks about what the doctor said. That toil. Then a bribe. Is there aught I can help you with? What? Sir? I wasn't gone that long, was I? Oh. If you're looking for Lubomir, his condition deteriorated to the point that he had to be moved to the basement sick room. Oh, shit. He's not allowed visitors, I'm afraid. Not even family. Even we're not allowed to go see him. No, no need to worry, though. The Abbess is tending to him personally. She'll nurse him back to full health, I'm sure of it. I see. Where is the abbot? Are you her? No, it was Elena, right? I remember she was kind of tall. Marjorie, Josephine, no, they all look so similar. Maybe she's down there right at this moment. If so, it's time to apprehend her. This has gone on long enough. I fear I've much to attend to. You, Elena. What are you doing? Unhand me this. Several hours later, Burnworth Castle Jail Tower. Many thanks for your assistance in this matter. Elena is being questioned as we speak. Oh, yeah? Suffice to say, your testimony, combined with the evidence you've procured, have cast a great deal of suspicion upon the abbess that she isn't like to shake. Hell yes! Pray have this, sir. It is your reward for aiding us in our duty to this city. Yo! Another 11,000 gold! Wow. You know, that's so specific a price that I've rewarded twice now that I wonder if it's, um... If it's tied to, like, my level. Anywho, it looks like we're on the palace grounds. Wow! I actually haven't gotten a good look at the castle yet. That is... Really impressive. To think that one day it will be mine. Huh. Anywho, let's go back to the Gracious Hand. I'm curious to see what's new. I fear this trial is too much for one such as me. Oh, heavens above. What are we to do? Hi, Lottie. It was you, wasn't it? You took the Abess from us. How could you do this? Well... It was very difficult, but I proved that she's a snake. The acts she committed were unforgivable. This I cannot deny. Well, oh, you know. But what do you expect will befall the rest of us in her absence? I don't know. We'll elect a new abbess. I'm not your boss. Without the abbess, we cannot possibly attend to all our patients. Without her guidance, I... 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 Forgive me. It was an improper thing. To say, in light of the lives taken so unjustly. I was about to get real upset. <laughs> I will do what I can. But I fear I cannot attend to everyone here. Well, what an interesting quest. I do wonder if there's going to be, like, anything more to it. It is good to see you out. Huh. I fear I've much to attend to. Hey, buddy, there you are. Oh. Can't talk to him, I think he's sleeping. That's fine, though. There you are, there's that magistrate fella. I want to check in on you. Oh. Uh, good timing, I... Uh, right. With the aid of Sir Kendrick and his helper in locating certain documents, I believe I finally grasp the true nature of this place. Yo, I'd really want to know. It was a royal library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past. Hell yeah, forbidden knowledge? In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign attempted to consign our kingdom's histories to oblivion. Wow. 
Twould seem that, no matter the age, the avarice of those in power is all but guaranteed. Yet, tis clear it serves them not. Almost laughably so. The Sovereign's line ultimately fell to ruin, and now this library, so laboriously sealed, has been discovered. What can we learn from this? Those who make light of history are doomed to be crushed under its heel. Oh, is that all you have to say? Fine timing, sir. Fine timing indeed. Oh! I've need of your services, you see. Well, do tell. I'm open. I, my, my schedule's clear. My time in that tenebrous jail has only hastened the deterioration of my eyesight. Oh, he needs glasses. I stare at the page, but the letters stubbornly refuse to take shape. Yet these old eyes might serve some use if only I could wear the spectacles I had specially made. Ah, a very specific pair of glasses, I see. Alas, they were confiscated at the time of my imprisonment. As I recall, prisoners' possessions are held within the palace storeroom. It is a place to which few have lawful access, as I'm sure you can imagine. Oh, I don't know how far my guard, my my guard disguise will carry me there, but I'll try. Though, as I hear it, masquerades are being held of it. Masquerades with a great many attendees, if you catch my meaning. Yo! Should you happen to enter the venue, may have you would find an opportunity to liberate my poor spectacles? I think I might have an opportunity to do that during the main story. What say you? Would you consider... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try, but no promises. I am in your debt. Pray, infiltrate the venue. All right. Will do, Walter. Let me see. Is it not timed? Good. In the storeroom within the palace's masquerade hall. Oh. Oh, it's not in the castle itself. It's off to the side, right at right near the entrance. Fascinating. Maybe I could get in there as a guard. Would it be a miss for a guard to enter a storeroom, I wonder? I could try, but... For now, I have spent a very, a very, 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 very long time playing, so... I think I'm actually going to hit the inn and my play session. So as for what I want to do next, I don't know, I'll give it some thought, but right now I'm kind of leaning to, you know, just actually doing some honest-to-goodness exploring. Because, my god, I feel like I've been trapped in this city, or the checkpoint city for hours on end. I don't like that. The wilderness calls. I want to find new caves, slay new monsters. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Wait a second. Boy? Foremost hospitality. Much obliged. Boy? Oh. No, boy is safe. What the hell? Oh, he's far away. Oh, I had a heart attack. I think it's just that he wasn't nearby enough for me to access his inventory for storage. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Wow. Interesting lesson learned, I suppose. Huh. Hey, Boreas has gone adventuring. I made good use of my vocation skills on this journey. There were losses. I saw rows of dead lining the morgue. It was a strange adventure all in all. I have much to ponder. Boreas, phrasing, it feels like you went on a murder spree. What? Huh? Oh, adventures with two people. Let's look at Zun. Level 18, uh, Mystic Spearhand. Huh. Cool outfit. Damn. And Gia. Level 24, 
Trickster. Oh. Wow, you are rocking that corset. <laughs> what a look. <laughs> cool. You'll not All believe right. the journey I've had. I'll wager my horizons are broader than ever. Shall we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come. You know what? That sounds long. really good, Boreas. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm feeling it. Let's head to the wilderness. Just do some adventuring. New uncharted territory. I suppose the most important question we can ask is where do you want to go? Wait a second, something's different. Just yonder, Boreas, do you have any idea? <laughs> That's right, quite spur of the moment, but I've decided to derail my plans completely. Boreas is now a fighter, I am an archer. See, I have that looming quest in my mind. Gift of the bow with Glendweir, the elf. I, you know what? Playing as an archer doesn't sound half bad, so let's give it a shot. I have no idea how this plays like, and I'm really, really excited to see how. Now, both Boreas and I are rank 1 in our new vocations, but we should rank up pretty fast, so I might actually want to return to town pretty quickly. Um, also, I'm pretty sure I know what to do to get into this house now. Exactly, I had a feeling. Wait, can I even... Can I jump? Hello? Uh. Shoot, I felt smart, but... Darn it. There's gotta be a way in here. We cannot break it from this side. So from this goes. side? There's gotta be a something I can do. Also, yeah, you see this? That's gyro aim. It's cool, I can aim really accurately. Um. Hmm. What the hell? You see that? I'm not moving my controller at all. Why is it listening to the side? Watch, I'll release and... What? Is that just supposed to be like recoil or something? It's weird. Huh. I suppose either that's a glitch or I'll have to just get used to it. I'm not tall enough to shoot in. Oh man. So what do we actually have here? I have um, a running jump kick. If I um, hit an enemy with that, I apparently bounce off them. It's pretty cool. And I can fire in midair as I bounce backwards off them. Um, so I have Quick Loose, like that. I can strafe, apparently. Yeah. And my class skill with the right bumper is Steady Shot. Apparently, I can use skills like that. So uh, let's just try Barrage Shot. Huh. And if I aim, yeah. Huh. When it's like this, it manually releases. And sweep shot. And dire arrow, this is the big one. I'm pretty sure if I release dire arrow right as it goes off, I think that was too late still. But when I flash white, fact, I feel like I do more damage. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. Wolves. I wonder why. <laughs> A fitting first hunt. Sure to keep that in mind. Come on. A glad thing we rested you know, I might want to reduce the sensitivity of my shots. Huh. Yeah, give me a moment to we that fiddle around a bit here. Goblins. 
This will be fine practice. Whoa! Alright, maybe I should have mentioned, I bought and upgraded a really powerful bow, the best one that was available in the shop. Wow. I will protect you. Wow. Yeah, my damage is pretty good. Um So let's actually compare. I didn't do a comparison. My old sword, which Boreas is using, has a strength of 256. My bow has 273. So I have upgraded in power quite a bit. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! Archer's cool! <laughs> Easy mode, activate. Hey, hey, none of that. Oh, shit! Okay, uh, how's my damage on this thing? Not that good. Okay. Uh, I might want to spook it off. I'm not doing a lot of damage. Well done. This might be a battle of attrition. Whoa! Hey now! Easy does it. Down boy. Whoa! <laughs> well... I'm not sure what else I can do against a downed opponent. Oh, I wonder if they actually can do something against a downed opponent. I should try that. Yeah, we're making like no headway. Whoa! This is one hell of a learning curve. Well, easy. We can shoot it out of the sky. Let's try. Okay, Boreas. Oh, he's winded. And on that cliff. You fleeing? A diving bomb? Shoot you out of the sky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mercy! Whoa. That was a perfect release. Okay, let's try. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really do anything. Perfect! That's perfect. Right there. Okay, we're actually managing to put on some hurt. I think some guards are joining the fight too. I don't know how much they're helping. It's on fire! Yo! This is our best shot. Lay on the damage. One health bar down, three to go. Honestly, I think this might end with it flying away. But for now, we're actually making good work. Damn, Boreas, go in! Oh, there goes that ox cart! Whoa! Uh oh. Whew. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think you like that. I don't think you like that at all! I shot the head, not the butt. Uh oh. Okay, now this is where things get interesting. Yeah, griffins can summon lightning. Let's stay mobile for the time being. Shut up. Shotgun to the face, please. A 
Oh my god, another health bar down. Too soon. Perfect. Keep this up, keep its wings ablaze, it won't be able to fly. Yeah, keep up the flamethrower, it's perfect. Uh oh. I might actually kill it. It's kind of surreal to think about. It's down again! Yeah, I think my shotgun's my best damage here. Go in for yes, finish it off. Uh-oh. Should watch my stamina. Thanks, Mara. Generating static electricity. Watch out, everyone. Uh oh, its wings are not alight. It could fly off. Uh oh, Boris is in bad shape. Ah! What? Did I stop it? Oh my god, I think I stopped it. What the hell? Archer's cool! I wish someone could heal up Boreas, he needs help. There we go, you, you jumped into the anodyne. Good on you. It's like you heard me. Let's restore a bit of stamina. We can get its wings alight. Oh, it's so weak, it's, it's uh, drooling. Oh, he hates it. Downed again? No, not quite. There we go. This poor thing. At this point, we're just bullying it. Uh oh. Thank you, boy. Yeah, shoutouts to these uh, traveling pawns. Yeah, they're not guards. They're pawns. That's what they are. Bam. Don't cast lightning on it, I think that helps it. Uh oh, it's very angry. Oh boy. Can you shoot it down? Don't you dare fly off. Whoa. Glorious, when do you cling to it? Down. Uh oh. Whoa. Angry. I think a pawn just died. Uh oh. Wait. No, don't flee. What? That's a good alternative, I suppose. It's getting aggressive. It's a light! Perfect. It's collapsed even better. Really down to one health bar remaining. One health bar left. It. Let's press the advantage. Shoot that head. Does it? Uh oh, one of my pawns is down! Uh oh. <laughs> Thanks, boy. Samara, you're essential. We need to keep it on fire. I don't like it flying. 
Don't you dare fly away. Don't you dare fly away. I said, don't you fly away! Uh oh. Uh, quick, restore stamina. Uh, this. Perfect. <laughs> I'd like to s think I contributed great greatly there. Finish it now! Die, 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 die! This is it! Penop the ultimate moment! Come on, ignite the wings, that's essential. Don't fly. With the ice, we need fire. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just using lightning. It's not flying away. Get down here. Solid blow. Help, help, help. How did I thought it got hit there? No, no. This game's so cool. <laughs> This is it. Die. Oh my god, what a fight! How long did that take? That was forever. Damn straight my vocation ranked up. Griffin <laughs> Pinion. Just two. Just two. All that for two feathers. Off this overgrown turkey. Oh, someone's dinner. So soon? Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Okay. That's one hell of a way to start an adventure, but... I kind of want to go back to town and get some new moves, you know? We ranked up in everything. Then again... I must be pretty close to rank 3. That was a lot of experience and discipline points that just got injected into ourselves, so... Maybe we just keep exploring, maybe fight a, just a few more goblin packs. We could run into something nice. Get rank 3. That'd be pretty huge. After all, we fell to Griffin. What else could challenge us? I was waiting for this. Harpies. Come here. You're going down. Oh, wow! The accuracy from so long! Oh my god! Alright, the auto-fire is pretty good. How's this? Okay, maybe... Okay, so that's about the range I can expect. <laughs> Hello? Huh? What the... Oh, that thing's pretty wounded. Alright. 
Let's join the fray against this freaking ogre. All right, a griffin and ogre back to back. Why not? Why not? Ow! Ouchie! <laughs> Ow! Ah! Help! Headshot! Careful! You like that trick, don't you, bastard? His eyes for me! Oh, that slide shot? You see that? Okay, sprint, fire. Ooh, that's pretty. You know, I think I'm a lot more powerful than I thought I was. Ogres were ah, nasty in the first game. Um, but that? Okay, I know we had a lot of NPC helpers, but that wasn't too scary. Huh. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to try and cut their tails. I really have to rely on my allies for that. There we go, rank up. My deepest thanks. Oh, uh, hi there. Is the least I can offer after all you've done. Yeah, I guess I did save you. Huh, 2,500 gold. So I didn't see. Did I rank up as well? Me to fly to your aid in your hour of oh, shut up! I don't want to hire you. Um, let's see. Vacation. Huh, that's odd. Boreas and I changed our vocation at the exact same time, but I didn't rank up at the same time he did. Oh, I need 23 discipline points to go. All right, yeah. Easily done. Let's head back to town. It's getting dark anyhow. There we go. I don't know what did it, but... I'm rank 3, so Boreas and I will have quite a few upgrades to get back at town. Feels good. Oh, hey! Gold Beetle! Wow, right here on the main road? I've been through here quite a few times now. What the hell? Have you business Hello, with the Klaus. Kelsa? Yes, I, I do. Let's see. Let's start with Boreas. I'm well familiar with the fighter, of course, because I've been playing it this whole time. Give you these new things. Augments. Yeah, metal. That's huge for you. Yeah, equip it right away. Increase physical defense. And weapon skills. Uh, yeah, you know what? Shield summons. That'd be pretty good. Me being an archer, I'd love to have my pawn draw enemy attention away from me, so equip that. Uh, I don't know. We're running two archers, a fighter, and a mage. We don't need springboard. I think that'll be good. Now, I've been waiting for this. What do I have for archer here? We have, of course, barrage shot, which... Fires two arrows in a row. Sweep shot, which fires three in a spread pattern. And dire arrow, the big charge up shot. So, what do we have here? King sight. So, oh, right, that one. Special sight augments the user's vision while drawing, allowing them to fire on distant targets. Huh. 
You know, sniping an unaware harpy would be pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty nice. But exploding shot. Ooh. Fires a loaded arrow that adheres to foes or terrain. The arrow will burst when attacked or after a time and can knock targets off balance. Wow. Requires some setup, but that can be quite disruptive, I think. And tarring shot. Fires a loaded arrow that adheres to foes or terrain, explodes after a time or if attacked, tarring the target and those who draw near. Yo! Tarring? It means that if they get hit by fire, they'll burst into flames and take heavy damage. Combined with my mage, that's pretty good. With our fire augments? You know what? Yeah, I think I want to take that. I'll put it on X. Yeah, just imagine how good that would be against the griffin. Oh, I wish I had that at the time. Core skills. There's leaping punt, of course. Parting shot. Aha! Uh -huh. Fires an arrow while jumping back after performing a leaping punt or a mid-air front kick. Yeah, off a... Wow. Neat. Swift knock enables the user to knock arrows more quickly when loose or steady shot. Yo! That's overpowered! What the hell? That's overpowered! And augments. Ambusad. Increases damage dealt by your attacks when targets are not in battle stance. I mean... I'd rather save the 300 discipline points. Okay. Well... We both have full four skills equipped. Updated core skills. Sounds great. Come again. So let me let, manage my inventory. And then we can head out into the wilderness again. Wait, what the hell? I had no idea this beach existed. I never looked down here. What? Yo, what's that on the roof? Dried fish. Rod and harspud. It's fine, but... Wow, there's a little harbor. How did I never notice this, like, at all? And what's in here? Oh, it's locked. Huh. You know, what with the brine existing in this universe? Being a sailor must be terrifying. Like, if you go overboard, there was right. no I'll hope whatsoever. Chest. Wait, a chest? Huh. Thank you, boy. Before we leave town, it occurs to me that Samara is sadly way outdated. She is, alas, level 11. We are 17. So let's get a new mage in. Actually, Vivienna here. I am attentive and loyal. And prefer to remain by your side. You look like you're well in kitted battle. out. What do you have equipped? High flagration, celerity, um, lightning affinity, Empyrean. Oh yeah, conjures an orb of holy light that deals immediate damage to nearby targets in all directions. The light remains for some time even after the attack concludes. Huh. You know, I might have taken you if you had fire affinity. I much prefer fire to lightning. That's a shame. Especially because I'm running tarring arrows. Yeah, I need fire affinity. So anyway, Samara. If I learn anything of import, you will be the first to know. It's time. You serve me well. I will give to you a salubrious draught. And I like it. I dare say, I've accomplished a few feats to be proud of, at least. Farewell. Now, as for mages... Here we go. Saiyan. Rank 6 mage, high flagration, halidom, 
Fire Affinity, high 11, lots of core skills, good augments. You're the full package. All right. Welcome aboard. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. And you know what? Atreus, boy, you have served me well, Pray, but I think there's only room for one archer in this party. I quite spur the moment, I think. At least I go, knowing I fought to the best. Want to try something brand new? I'll be your tea, should your party lack for bite. <laughs> Hell Such yeah. Ara, you are a badass. Holy crap, you look well taken care of as far as pawns go. Oh my god, strength of 395? Rank 3 warrior, but... Um... Yeah, yeah, your... Your, your stats are pretty bonkers. Let's give a let's give warrior a try. Whoops. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Well, that settles it. Saiyan and Ara, welcome aboard. May we have some successful adventures. It is said there is an illness pause can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. Illness? As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. What? That sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. What? Well, that's, um, some very unsettling information. Wow. 